Seven year old kid was standing on the railing of three floor building roof. His parents saw him there when they were coming from the market. Few items were there on the hand of his father who just put these things on the ground. A worried mother tried to convince his son so she said in a loud voice, Joseph, stay away from that wall railing. Mother was looking at him helplessly while his relaxed son heard the voice of his mother and looked at the left side from where he heard the voice. I am going to roof. You just try to convince him or make him engaged with your words. Mother nodded when his father whispered his plan of rescue. Mommy, I want to be a superhero. For that, I have to jump from here. Little Joseph, so innocently I countered his mother's statement. Baby, it's not necessary to jump from there to become a superhero. I know how to become a superhero. We'll tell you, so do not jump. When Joseph explained his plan, then mother became more worried. No, mommy. It's necessary to jump from here. You have not read any comic book. Joseph stick with his superhero theory. Father reached the rooftop where he was just few steps away from his son. Joseph also found his father at rooftop, so now he knew. If he didn't jump now, then his father will catch him. Joseph started his run from one corner to another, while father also put his all energy to catch him before jump. I am back, Joseph was saying while he is running. Father just about to catch him. Joseph was near the end of the corner from where he was going to jump. Alarm Tom first whispered in his, th in his ear. Then slowly its tone take all attention of Joseph and he just come out from his childhood dream. Switched off his alarm then rub his cheeks and try to wake up so he went off his on time like every day. He was so punctual at his work. That's the only thing his boss like about him and he was not going to lose the last fun thing. Get up from his bed and began his morning routine. Within an hour Joseph was ready for his job but after all suit up for his office he called his girlfriend to was just opposite. He took his mobile which was on the table then called his girlfriend so she can at least try to go his boutique on time. Wake up princess, time to start the day. Joseph began in conversation when Anna received the call after three rings. You have work son, I have boutique. Anna replied in sleepy voice. Son, okay. Joseph paused a bit then continued. So what? Work is work, whether it's boutique or of my office. Everything should be on time. Do not pick in your morning lecture. How are you so punctual? You are not enjoying the morning properly. Ananya again whispered, Madam, it's not morning. It's almost nine. Oh, sit again late one day. Every customer will left my boutique. Ananya just come out from laziness and walk in normal tone. So true. Why not you wake up on time? At least use alarm. Ha ha. I switched up the alarm and again sleep. Alarm thing is definitely not working for. Then find a way. My self-employed girl. How your boutique is still working? You come late and close early. Because my passion is so awesome and I also look very wow. I also look every time so wow. All aunties and girls come my boutique to look as awesome like me, you know. And I proudly describe herself and boutique. So you mean I am dating the most stylish girl of Pune? Joseph replied with soft tone. Definitely a sterling and I am doing a stupid
फिर फाइव ओके देन वाई यू प्रपोज मी ट्वाइस ओ हेलो डोंट एवर टेल मी दैट स्टोरी ओनली आई एम द बेस्ट ओके ओके आई जो से बी स्माइल्ड एंड अबाउट टू क्रैक अ चौक फॉर गेट दिस टाइम टेबल डिबेट वाट्स एवर प्लान विल गो टू ऑफिस जो से वॉज डिस्क्राइबिंग हिज रूटीन बटाने ने आगे कट हिज सेंटेंस इन द मिडल आफ्टर द ऑफिस बॉस डोंट टेल यू आर गोइंग टू यूर फ्रॉम आफ्टर दैट Yes, I have lots of pending works, and some more will come today. So how can I think something different? Joseph tried to describe his routine calmly, and Anna listened his all words, but he again stuck with her argument. Hello, to work from for that seat, Amrish till the whole day. Yes, sir, sure, sir. That's your routine. That's my job. I don't know how you manage but today we are going to meet someone knocked his door when he was trying to explain his routine one more time go your landlord mean your adopted parents came and he smiled shut up how many time i need to tell you landlord again knocked go son go they need you okay bye joseph cut the call and went to open the door landlord smiled and passed gajar ka halwa to joseph thank you uncle you love gajar ka halwa that's why i come with that you care for your son you are like yes i know uncle and why i am late for office one thing This is the electricity bill. Joseph took the bill. I will go, Uncle. When Lord Lord and Landlord was try to give money, Uncle, I will pay. Take this money. You are just caring like your own parents. I like it. Okay, Uncle. Time to go. Joseph closed the door and take a deep breath. He finished the kajar ka halwa, then step out from his home. When he reached near his car, his phone rang. Hey, why you didn't call? Anna said, "I am late for office. Can we talk later?" You are not late because of me. Tell me how much this one knock affected your routine. I am going to pay electricity bill. Why you take their work? What will what will they do? whole day at his home it's 2010 everyone is busy with their joseph is stopped her lecture and nia it's not a big deal can we talk later joseph requested okay only if we are meeting in the evening we'll try you have to okay please we can talk later bye bye I love you. I love you too. Bye. Joseph hung up the call and entered his car. You love gajar ka halwa. That's why I come with that. We care for you, son. You are like Yes, I know, Uncle. And why? I am late, late for office. One thing: this is the electricity bill. Joseph took the bill. I will go, Uncle. When the landlord was. Okay, some changes. When loan, when landlord was tried to give money, mm-hmm, uncle, I will pay. Take this money. 
यू आर ए यू आर जस्ट केयरिंग लाइक योर ओन पेरेंट्स आई लाइक इट ओके अंकल टाइम टू गो जोसेफ क्रॉस द डोर एंड टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ ही फिनिश द गाजर का हलवा एंड देन देन वन टू देन स्टेप आउट फ्रॉम हिज होम He finished the kajar ka halwa, then stepped out from his home. When he reached near his car to drive, when he reached near his car to near car, his phone rang. Hey, why you didn't call? I am late. Hey why you didn't call I am late for office can we talk later You are not late because of me Tell me how much this one knock affected your routine i am going to pay electricity bill why why you take care why you take their work what will what will they do the whole day at his home it's 2010 no everyone is busy with their everyone is busy with their joseph stopped her lecture stopped her lecture ananya Ananya, it's not a big deal. Can we talk later? Can we talk later? Joseph requested. Okay. Okay only if we are meet meeting in the evening we'll try you have to okay please we can talk later Okay please we can talk later Okay please we can talk later Bye bye I love you Love you too and bye Joseph hung up the call and and, and locked entered his car